A few years ago, I spent the summer working in the Tongass National Forest in Southeast Alaska. During that summer, I fell in love with everything that Southeast Alaska had to offer. The rain, the fog, the dense forest, the rocky beaches, and the creatures they get to call this place home. For me, this was more than a hunt. This was a chance to come back and visit the place that changed my life forever. Being able to take my dad with me on this trip made it all that more special. He was the one who introduced me into hunting from a young age and he took me on my very first hunt when I was 12 years old. Unfortunately, that was the last hunt we had shared up until now. A lot of things got in the way of my interest in hunting right after that first hunt, and it wasn't until I was in college that the passion for the outdoors and wildlife was re-sparked. There was one place in particular that I dreamed of coming back to regularly, and that was exactly where my dad and I were headed. Getting to this location can be a logistical nightmare, but when you arrive, it makes the months of planning all worth it. Officially our first hunting morning here in Southeast Alaska. My dad and I got in last night, hiked in here, set up shop. Couldn't hunt yesterday because we flew in, but we spent the evening looking around as much as we could. A lot of this coastline was um, fogged in, but we were able to catch a bear down yonder right before the fog kind of covered him up. And he looked like a big bear. And he was just in the spot that I kind of wanted to venture out into today so that's definitely going to be our focus area today and I couldn't be more excited to be here <sighs> it's going to be a lot of fun I've got four days to hunt I think today's Tuesday we get picked up on Sunday maybe that's five days I don't know oh man feels good to be here it couldn't be a more perfect morning it rained a lot yesterday no rain right now. Coastline's completely clear. It's time to start looking for some bears. Worst case scenario, if it does fall in the water, everything is inside a dry bag inside the bag. I'm wondering if we should go across, go across, take the boat and go get, try to get across one more time and then, we'll, and then work our way down to that clearing and maybe we can glass from that other side. I think we can still see all that? We should be able to see. So I think then we're already in, in a go condition. 
to start beelining it down along the edge. Taxi service. No dice on the bear that we spotted yesterday, or any bears for that matter. I haven't seen a single bear all day. And we had the most perfect weather, no rain all day until about a half hour ago. Back to the cabin we go. I'm on a glass for bears from there. Well, after all day of glassing, um, finally spotted a bear. So that's exciting. Downside is he's pretty dang far away. And he just went behind some cover. The high tide is almost halfway in by now. And to get to where he's at, it would be a long raft ride. So. I don't think we're gonna go after him. It would just be quite a shot in the dark. So, and I really, I'm, and I mean, maybe if it was the last night or something, I would go for it, but I'm really confident that this, this shoreline right here on the other side of me that's practically shooting distance from him, I, I've seen bears before in um, years past, and I'm just, really confident and I think it's a good spot that bears can come out there so I'm gonna hope that um stay here in hopes that a bear will pop up closer but also I'm just gonna keep watching and hopefully um turn up some more bears on the other side of the bay. I got eyes on that bear again that's across the bay and seeing that he's back out again makes me wish I just sent it and went after him the first time I saw him. Uh, he looks like a good bear. He's far away, but he looks like a big one. Let's hope he's around tomorrow. So we are now gearing up for a little excursion for this evening. Last night I spotted a bear on the other side of the bay over there on that shoreline across from us. So the plan is to pack out over there. There's an island that sits across from the shoreline. We're gonna set up on that island and wait for the bear to come out this evening. We're gonna bring pack rafts because we're gonna walk out on the low tide and the high tide's 10.30 tonight. So depending on what time we get out of there, we may have to use the rafts to get um, across some channels or who knows what, but should be quite an adventure. And I'm just really hoping that we can spot that bear tonight or a bear tonight. He's on the paddles, I'm walking. 
little uh, recon mission. Boat and foot at low tide. We just got to where we wanted to get up, get and set up for this bear. And I don't know if it's the same bear, but there's a bear over about a thousand yards out. So, too far to shoot, but hopefully he walks this way. So we're deciding to back out. The tide's coming in pretty quick and the bear disappeared but probably come back out here back out here tomorrow a little more prepared we only brought one raft well i have mine on my back but we only brought one set of oars and tomorrow maybe get back in here with both rafts so we'll, that way we don't have to worry about the tide rookie mistake but we're learning Whew, we did it. Ay, ay, ay. That channel gets pretty big. Yeah, if we wait till 8 30. We'll be doing one of these, both of these boats with two paddles. That's just another thing we can do tomorrow. Yeah, I was thinking if we, if we come back, it's going to be a two boat job. Two boat with two paddles. I mean, we'll be all right. It's not like a it's just going to be full of water. Yeah. Well, unfortunately, today is the last day we're out here hunting bear in Alaska and it's about eight in the morning. We're headed off to the spot we were at yesterday where I spotted that bear back in the corner of this bay. Um, we came prepared today. I've got my raft and oars all in my backpack. So we're gonna stay out all day. That way I've got my boat so I don't have to worry about tides and we'll see what happens. Hopefully we can find a bear today. It's the last day to get it done. Our pilot comes in, picks us up tomorrow. So it's been a wild, wild ride. Great adventure. This is one of my favorite places on planet Earth. This particular spot we came to, I really fell in love with when I was back here a couple years ago and I feel feel pretty fortunate to have gotten to share this spot with my dad and show him show him a little taste of southeast Alaska. So all in all, it's been a hell of a trip. We are officially at our little spot, our vantage point for the day. And we can cover a, quite a bit of country from here especially what most of the shoreline that, that that bear's been um, working on the evenings. So we're at high tide right now. So we have a while until low tide, but the tide will start to fall here shortly. And I think that's when that bear is gonna start being more interested in working the shoreline is once that tide starts to drop. But the weather broke on us right now and it's really nice. So hopefully it'll Hopefully we get some consistently nice weather like this. Hopefully the wind plays in our favor and stays halfway decent. And hopefully we can find a bear. 
soaking in this last day, last full day here. I don't want to go. <laughs> oh man, I love it here. So my dad spotted a bear and I'm off. He's gonna follow, but he's a little ways behind me. I grabbed the boat and just grabbed what I needed to go after the bear. And hopefully this wind doesn't screw this up. It's not favorable, but I'm just gonna kind of be aggressive with this. And just go for it. The sun came out. As soon as the sun came out, this bear seemed to pop out. So we'll see. Freaking got him. Freaking nailed him. He's down. He's down. He just fell under a little knoll. 150 yards. Holy smokes, what a stalk. What a st stalk. <sighs> Last freaking day. Yeah, he didn't go too far. I watched him. I thought, oh, she's going, he's going. So you, you were able to watch it yeah, go I down? Him. You know, I was right on the, right where that, right behind the trees there. Uh -huh. I didn't want to come in here because the wind is weird. And I said, I, just, I saw where you were working. And I just said, no need me getting in there. Get up. So where, where was I when you, when I, well, you shot I was already laying were, down? I watched, I waited. I watched you, move, oh, you okay. moving around and he kept moving. Fuck, he used to be over here, didn't he? I mean, if you saw him from there, he's probably started in this spot. Because when I first crossed the corner, he was right Can you see in him here. Right now? I, couldn't give it to I saw him run, yes. tumble over that little hill, and then I saw his feet up and behind that hill. So I'm I, assuming I, he's right over that I, little. I can't knob. remember anymore where he was. I thought it was over here. He should be right on that little, over that little grassy hill. Hey, we got it done. Congrats, buddy. <laughs> oh, good, good spot. Job. Good job. That's a good good spot on your part. I mean, look at this weather. It's like the heavens opened up and the bear showed up and we, holy smoke. I can't get, I can't believe it. shuttle service which involves packing meat on our backpacks until we hit extreme canal that 
that we cannot cross without the rafts. So when we set the meat down, go back to the rafts, pick up the rafts, walk them back to the stream, load up in the rafts, get across the stream, repeat until we make it back to the cabin. Coming home with a bear was not needed to make this trip a success, but it sure did make the experience with my dad a lot more special. Having him by my side throughout the whole process was something that I looked forward to for quite some time. After the consistent rain and fog we endured that week, the clouds opened up our final evening and put on quite the show for us. While the last few rays slipped behind the trees, I couldn't help but to think how perfect of an ending this trip was coming to. Seldom do hunting trips read the script, and to be honest, this one went a bit differently than I had drawn up in my head countless times before we had left. But I could not be happier with the way this adventure turned out. I hope that Southeast Alaska finds its way onto my calendar each year from here on out, and that my dad and I can share many more hunting adventures together. Although, this one's gonna to be tough to beat.